Welcome to the TFE handset training video for the Cisco 8900 and 9900 series IP phone. In this video, we will be reviewing soft keys and advanced calling. We'll begin with soft keys. The first soft key is the new call soft key. By pressing this button, I can make a new call. Notice my call is established. The second soft key is the forward all soft key. This allows me to forward my phone to someone else's extension. I simply hit forward all followed by the number. Then notice on the screen I've got an indicator to let me know that my phone has been forwarded as well as an indicator at the top to let me know that my phone has been forwarded. To turn off call forwarding I simply hit forward off. Let's do that again. This time, we'll use our call history instead of manually entering in the number. So we will come down here to Brittany, hit the call soft key. Notice, again, our message at the bottom as well as at the top. Now let's say that we wanted to forward our phone to an external number, such as our cell phone. We hit forward all, followed by our access code, which in this example is 8 followed by our cell phone number. Again, notice the information. The next soft key we have is the redial soft key. This allows me to dial back the last number that I dialed. Now let's talk about call transfer. Call transfer allows me to take a call that I'm on and transfer it to another party. We'll begin by placing a call. Now, to transfer this call, we begin by hitting the transfer button. Then we'll dial the number. Thank you for calling TFE. This is Brittany. Hi, Brittany. I have a call for you. Notice we've got our top line. And now we've got our new call indicated with the number 2. To complete this transaction, I have press transfer to complete my instructions at the top, followed by a transfer soft key. We'll just hit the transfer soft key. And the call is gone. Let's do that again. Again, the transfer soft key. This time we'll select Brittany from our call history. Thank you for calling TFE. This is Brittany. Hi Brittany, I have a call for you. Notice we also have a swap soft key. So if I wanted to go back to the first caller and let them know that I'll be connecting their call, I simply hit the swap soft key. Notice I'm now on the first call and I would say, I have Brittany for you. And I would complete the transaction by hitting the transfer soft key. Let's do that again. This time, we won't complete the call transfer. for calling TFE. This is Brittany. Hi Brittany, I have a call for you. Now in this example, let's assume that Brittany says that she, for whatever reason, cannot take the call. I would simply hit end call for the active call, which is Brittany, followed by resume for the call, original call, and I would say, I'm sorry, Brittany's not available. May I take a message? And that's call transfer. Let's talk about conference calling. We'll begin by placing a call. Thank you for calling TFE. This is Brittany. Hi, Brittany. I'm going to conference in Brandy. We begin by hitting the call conference button, and we'll call Brandy. I could have also selected Brandy from my call history. 
Thank you for calling TFE. This is Brainy. How may I help you? Hey, Brainy. This is Russ. I'm going to conference in Brittany. Notice I have my first call to Brittany indicated with my one. I have my second call to Brandy indicated with a number two. Because both of them still show as individual calls, I haven't completed the conference call. So I will hit press conference to complete. And now I have Brittany and Brandy all on the phone with me. Conference calling is that simple. The last thing I want to show you is the missed calls button. If you'll notice, next to an available button, I have an icon with the number one indicating that I've had one missed call. To see this missed call, I just hit the button that corresponds to that. And this will bring up my call history for missed calls. Now if I wanted to see my call history for all calls, I simply hit all calls. If I wanted to clear my list, I would hit clear list. And I would confirm that by selecting the delete soft key. And now my call history has been cleared. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.